I don't care if you identify as an XC rider trying to push the pace to prepare for your next race, a new rider out here just trying to learn the trails, young or old, experienced or not. When you ride past these five, well technically 10 jumps at Markham Park and see someone flying through the air with style and somehow landing just as smooth as they took off, it makes you wonder, could I learn to do that? Let's pick the brain of the man behind the madness Markham Park's trail boss, Colin. No man, saddle time. Saddle time's the best, uh, the best way to learn anything. Um, repetition, you build muscle memory, and uh, it just becomes natural. It's almost like walking after a while. You don't even think twice about it. You know, it's just because you've done it for so long. It's almost like a reaction every time you hit it now. So saddle time's the number one, number one way you're gonna get comfortable with everything. You're gonna fall, expect it understand it. It's no different than being in the kitchen with knives. You're going to cut yourself or burn yourself. So as long as you're okay with that and you put in the time, I mean, everything's just going to be that much easier. Absolutely. So, Thanks, Colin. <laughs> as we watch the local shredder Callum at 13 years old show us some of his latest moves, I would like to introduce you to an insanely skilled rider, Dane, who is going to impart his wisdom on how to progress on the jump line. You want to keep progressing just little by little by little and um, you know even if we're out here and we've been doing it for years if we don't feel comfortable one day like you turn it down a little bit you don't push to get hurt but uh, what's great about these jumps is they're perfect for progression they're very safe they're all tabletop so uh, it's very easy to just get comfortable rolling over and start jumping out a little bit further and further until you're jumping into the transition and keep it going. Taking a step back before hitting the jump line, in addition to your helmet, you may want to consider knee pads, like these G-form pads or even liners with hip protection, which have saved me numerous times. If you're going to hit the jumps on your trail bike, consider increasing the tire pressure to maintain speed. I learned recently my max tire pressure is 40 psi, so that's what I'll be at for these jumps. If you're still having trouble with maintaining enough speed, consider changing your rear suspension setting from full open to pedal which is simply halfway between locked out and full open for better energy transfer when pumping between jumps. Don't forget to keep the rebound setting on your rear suspension on the low end so you don't get launched over the handlebars. I have mine currently set at four out of 10 clicks from the slowest setting. I keep my front suspension full open, 50% rebound exactly in the middle. Drop your seat down to get it out of the way. Reproduce good bunny hop technique on the jumps by preloading both front and rear suspension Lean back, pull the handlebars to your chest, explode upwards, and reposition your bike and body to match the angle of the landing. To demonstrate these principles of progression, we have Groms, Lucas, and Lucas. How old are you, Lucas? Eight. That's fine. Lucas, how old are you? 12. 12 years old, clearing the big jump line. Mind if I do some follow cam of you? Heck yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, bud. One of the great things about the Markham Park jump line is just getting to hang out. The culture is friendly, so don't be afraid to meet new people or ask if you need help. I had fun making this little video. If you had fun watching it, show it some love by commenting and clicking the thumbs up like and subscribe buttons. Stay healthy everyone, mind, body, and spirit. See you next time.
did so bad. That was a 